morning loves welcome to another vlog um i believe this is the start of a vlog oh started that at a bad time because you know i'm pulling up to the window to get my coffee all right so i wanted to uh, fill you in on my weekend adventures since i forgot my camera and didn't take it with me <laughs> so you guys will see me getting ready for a double date that i went on it was really fun um, the people were super nice. Um, my date was a guy named Taylor who also took me on a hike on Sunday. Um, and then it was his roommate and his wife. So it was really fun. We had a good time. Uh, and then Sunday, um, we went for a hike. Uh, Taylor made a picnic, like lunch type thing, which was basically like meat and cheese and crackers and grapes and, um, Pickles. It was like a char charcuterie board. Char charcuterie? Charcuterie? I think it's charcuterie. Okay. So it was like that, and it was it was really good. Um, but we took that, or we ate that after we went on... I made it about a mile and a quarter. 1.2 miles. Uh, I didn't think that was too bad for my first hike. I'm really, like, not in great shape I mean we all should know that like it's pretty obvious but I had set some goals for myself and this was one of my goals was to get out and discover f at least five parks and I kind of added to go on five hikes so <sighs> there I am <laughs> um, it's definitely gonna take some working up to longer hikes but I I think I can do it um, I'm a little bit sore today but not too bad like just my back is sore a little bit so I'm like I'm pretty excited about it I, I was actually kind of proud of myself that I got out there and did that because that's not my normal thing like I've been for the past week or so I've been doing about 15 or 20 minutes of a kettlebell workout that I kind of put together <clears throat> and I really enjoy a kettlebell workout it's with weights and you know you can do swings or squats or whatever like there's tons of stuff to do with a kettlebell and so I'm like been getting up at 5 30 instead of 6 or 6 15 and I've been doing that every morning and I'm enjoying that as well but it's not as like high impact like I take it super easy just because I'm starting out like I don't want to like overwhelm myself and get burnout on stuff but I am working on that um, so after Taylor and I went on a hike we went to another park where we took a small walk not not very far at all and we just kind of sat and talked for like a few hours it was really fun we were waiting for my friend Brittany to text me to let me know that the person I was getting my kitten from was home and so we were kind of waiting around for that and that gave us a chance to just kind of like get to know each other a little bit better. So that was really nice to just kind of have it like a chill sit down in nature, you know. Um, so we picked up two kittens yesterday. Um, I have a, a, a she looks like she's going to be all black, maybe with some like dark gray stripes. Um, but that one's going to go to my mom when she moves into her apartment. And then the other one has a white chest and white paws, um, like a tuxedo. And that's the one that I'm going to keep so far. <laughs> like if I bond better with the other one or the other one bonds better with me, we will see what happens. But for right now, that's the plan is for me to keep the one, the tuxedo cat. And so we brought them home and kind of got them acclimated to the house a little bit. Well, just my bedroom for right now. They're so small. They're only six weeks old. Um, there is some vlog footage, which I will insert here. This one's sleeping and you guys are playing.
<laughs> Don't buy my sweater. I paid good money for that. <laughs> well, Mommy, if you'd put away your clothes, I wouldn't bite my sweater. Get him. Get him. Uh oh. Your sister's over there just attacking herself. Hi! Oh my god, you're so cute! Hello, baby! As you can see, they're a little bit rambunctious. Of course, they're kittens. They're six weeks old. But uh, they're super fun right now and made it through the night just fine. They slept through the night. Um, they fell asleep on my bed last night about two hours before bedtime and they slept for like an hour so I made sure that they got wore out before I went to bed so <laughs> they're full of it when I left this morning they were playing and I left my bedroom light on for them and I'll just keep them in my bedroom for right now until you know they get a little bit bigger and maybe they won't get lost in the house I can figure out like if I need to move anything or you know stuff like that um, it already looks like I'm gonna have to clean off the shelves of my desk where I have like some storage because they're climbing in and on that or I'm gonna have to get different storage that actually has lids so they don't like get into stuff that has like cords or little things um, I have like a box of cords and stuff for my computer and random you know HDMI cables stuff like that um, I have that and one of them was in it last night and I was like, oh, you can't be in there. So I moved that so they can't get to it. It just, it's learning how to have a kitten again. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't had a kitten in like 15 years. So I have to kind of figure out in my small, small space um, what needs to be moved around. So they're fun so far, but it's only been, you know, 12 hours or something <laughs> like um taylor made dinner last night he made shrimp alfredo on tortellini with asparagus and that was super good we kind of made this cheater um alfredo with cream cheese and heavy cream I'll have to like get the recipe for you guys and maybe we'll try it on the channel as well in one of the viewer meals because it's that's a you know wide title but basically a cooking with candy video where we try the cheater alfredo sauce if you didn't want to put it on like traditional noodles it's keto so that's something to keep in mind it's a good keto alfredo that doesn't use a roux so there's no flour in it I think keto a lot seems to incorporate like eggs and flour into like substitute that for like cream cheese which I don't have a problem with because I like cream cheese but now I got to stock back up I'm supposed to make lasagna this week as payment for him taking me on the hike so I'm supposed to make him lasagna this week so We'll hopefully get to that yet. So, I'm sorry that I didn't take my camera. I totally forgot it. We got to the trail and I was like, oh crap, I don't think I packed my camera and I hadn't. So, sorry about that. I will uh, attempt to make sure I bring it the next couple times we go hiking. is the 20th of March I think uh, today I have my cat scan I'm super nervous because I haven't had one that I can remember in like a super long time so we're cat we're doing a CT scan on my pancreas 
and the reason is is because I've been having symptoms of pancreatitis and I've been having symptoms of pancreas failure basically um, yeah I don't know I'm, I'm scared to find out because like I don't even know if I want there to be bad or good results or if there is bad or good results or like what is a bad result what is a good result and if they don't find anything then we have to try even more to figure out what's been going on with me and why I've been so nauseous and sick all the time and dizzy and just everything that's been going on yeah so I'm not sure even what to like hope for cuz I'm just so confused that's this afternoon um, yesterday I got off work at 5 I went and went to the bank went to the post office went to the uh, car wash my brain is literally everywhere else but here right now I don't know I've got so much going on on my brain. But um, no, I went to the bank, to the post office, went and got my car washed, uh, then I went to therapy, <clears throat> had a good therapy session. Um, he wants me to come back and like, well, he asked me, he goes, well, how, when do you wanna come back? And I said, how about a month? And he goes, I think that's a good, good amount of time. You guys, there's oh like God. four eagles at whatever is here. Wow. Look at the look at them. They're so big. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. This is so cool. That, that is amazing. Bit. They are beautiful. I'm not I don't want to interrupt them. I know. I know. Plus I also wonder what that is they're eating. Um That's huge, whatever that is. Is that, what is that? I don't know. Should I get out? Do you want to get out? I get out. There he goes. Look at that one too. That's a big, oh fuck. Good morning guys! Uh, it's a little dark outside because it's only 7.20 right now. But I wanted to I wanted to update you guys on my health and what's been going on and apparently my battery is low whatever we're getting there <clears throat> my garage door is broken so I'm stuck parking outside again like a savage <clears throat> that was a joke <clears throat> <clears throat> so I got my results back I actually got them back finally on the day that the video went out where I was talking about it <clears throat> so I wanted to update you guys my scan came back normal which is amazing um, they did note multiple hernias from my surgery and obviously the surgery like what they did during the surgery like the rerouting and so he said everything looks okay he, um, he, he's never had a bariatric patient that's this far out. So he goes, I suppose this is what it's supposed to be like. I'm like, okay, cool. Can we talk to someone else? <laughs> like, what the hell? But <laughs> I go, okay, that, that's, that's awesome. I, I'm glad to hear that my pancreas is fine. And that's not an issue but where's the pain coming from where's the nausea coming from you know what's what's causing this and he suggested I try gluten-free for three to four weeks and keeping like a food journal to see what kind of sets off and I've already been kind of doing that but I didn't really see anything significant there were days where I would eat like bread and be fine but there were days where I would eat bread and not be fine so I think it's maybe just a combination of things and so I just need to keep better track 
I was just lightly keeping track before, so I'm gonna keep a way better track now. Um, like yesterday, I had some chicken and stuffing uh, because basically that's all I had in my house to make. <laughs> I haven't been grocery shopping in a little bit, like a full grocery thing. I was trying to eat my fridge clean. And so <clears throat> I had chicken and stuffing yesterday and I woke up in the middle of the night and my back was on fire and my kid, like where my kidneys are, um, it just, it hurt so bad. And so I decided that probably stuffing is made of bread and that has gluten in it. So I should probably avoid that. But we shall see where uh, that goes. Oh, her tabs are expired by like a couple months. Do you ever do that? Do you ever like notice like, oh, her tabs are expired or Oh, her taillight's out. Should I tell her? <laughs> like, so that's my new journey, I guess. Um, I'm actually going to stick to a pancreatitis diet. Um, at least that's what I'm going to try for a little bit, which is high protein, low fat, uh, moderate carbs. And I'm going to cut out or attempt to cut out as much gluten as possible. Um, I'm gotta do some research on gluten. Like I honestly don't quite understand it. I know that gluten is a protein that is built up um, during the kneading process for bread and pasta. And it gives it its, you know, stretchy deliciousness get my coffee money out since I'm at the window almost and so I know that pasta and bread is gonna be out of the question and I'm I'm fine with that I was very meh on pasta and bread anyway so yeah basically <coughs> high protein low fat moderate carbs I'm gonna have to get back into meal planning and meal prep and just kick some ass. Now, that said, there are gonna be some times during meal boxes, cooking videos, uh, viewer meal that is not gonna be on that diet. So when you're watching those, like, keep that in mind that I'm doing this for the channel and so I'm not sticking to what I'm saying right now all the time because I know it's gonna come up it'll be oh you said you were doing this yes I did say that but I also do videos for entertainment and because I like doing it it happens I sometimes feel like <laughs> I over explain myself and people on Twitter have told me that they're like honey you don't need to explain all of this and I'm like fine I think I've talked about this in another video that maybe I haven't uploaded yet but yes I am dating someone his name is Taylor I've shown photos of him and I on Instagram and snapchat but he doesn't really want to be part of the channel um, he'll probably make some cameos in cooking videos because that's his niche he loves cooking and so that's where we are until unless he's comfortable we he will not be in too many videos my mom moves in like a week she is excited but nervous uh, the boys are coming to visit next Thursday and Friday so there will be videos with Landon and Logan um, I've never taken two of them at the same time for longer than a few hours so this should be interesting two kittens and two kids in the house. We will see what happens. <laughs> um, I've also been doing a lot of like redecorating and moving things around in the house to try to make it more, more homey. And so I'm recording that process. It's just taking a while. Like, you know, I just got my curtains done yesterday. I, I sewed my own curtains and 
Um, today, I think my bed frame was delivered yesterday to work. Uh, I was sick yesterday. Going back to Monday, I don't know what I ate, but I could not keep anything down. I don't know if it was the lasagna that I made or what, but I was nauseous all day. Couldn't keep anything down. Uh, Monday night, I hadn't ate anything, but I was still super nauseous and like dry heaving. <clears throat> so Tuesday, I did not go to work. So I think it got delivered yesterday. It looks like from the email that I got that it got delivered. So uh, my new bed frame is here. We will be putting that up probably tomorrow. Um, I have plans after work tonight. And yeah, once I get everything settled and stuff, I'll show you guys the final pro progress of that and you'll be able to kind of see the process of me getting there. I feel like I'm finally making the house my own. Good morning, babes. It is Thursday, the 28th. Um, I was thinking about something this morning. Um, last Friday, I wanted to impress Taylor, and so I made a lasagna, and it was my mom's recipe, and it's been one of my favorite recipes for, like, most of my life, you know, like, as far back as I can remember, and I made it for, fr I made it Friday, and I put it in the fridge so it could, like, meld together, and I cooked it on Saturday night when we had our bonfire, and I had a piece that night and Taylor had a piece that night and then Monday for work I took a piece with me to work and I couldn't eat all of it um, just I just wasn't hungry that day I wasn't feeling well that was the day that I was like super nauseous and stuff and so it's been sitting in my fridge and I went to put my lunch together this morning and I was like that doesn't even sound good to me and it was so weird because seriously lasagna has been one of my favorite foods for so long but I've realized that like I just don't eat like that anymore like I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say without sounding like dumb <laughs> like I just don't eat that heavy food anymore because it makes me feel gross. It makes me feel bloated and, you know, just kind of bleh. And I'm trying to cut gluten out of my diet because I believe we talked about this yesterday, but my doctor suggested that. And the noodles have gluten and I'm trying to cut out most red meat and it has red meat in it. And I'm trying to cut back on dairy and it has a ton of dairy in it. And so I realized that in my brain that I've already told myself that those things don't make me feel good. And I didn't want to eat them. And for me, that's a big step. Um, because usually I just give in to cravings and I just eat whatever I want. And I don't even think about the consequences of it. I'm just like, I want ice cream. I'm going to have ice cream. And I'm gonna pay for it later because my digestive system does not like ice cream. And I realized that working through this in therapy has like really helped a lot. Working through how I think about food and like how I process my emotions has helped immensely. So I guess I'm just advocating for therapy again. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just, it's helped me so much and it's helped me to help other people. Like I, like my mom, I can help her with certain things. I can help Roger with certain things. And just like, not, not by like therap therapizing, not by giving them therapy, but basically I'm using the tools that I've learned to maybe help them kind of process what's, you know, going on in their lives. And I enjoy being able to help someone like that, especially people close to me, like my mom and Roger and my sister, and being able to calm them down when they're having, you know, a hard time. And I'm just 
really like in this really good place in my life right now and I feel so good in my skin and I feel so good with the choices that I'm making and the things I'm putting in my body and the things I'm doing with my body right now and it just it all feels so good and I think it all stems from you know finding my happy place letting go of certain things and finding someone that supports me and pushes me to be a better person. Now, I know some of you are like, well, you moved on really fast, blah, blah, blah. It, it's not like that. It, I've been going to therapy for a long time. And when Xavier and I broke up, I felt like I was on the verge of either a breakdown or a breakout. And what I mean by that is I was either going to completely lose my mind and have a complete mental breakdown or I was going to have a breakthrough and I was going to bust through this wall that I've been just pounding on for so long, just pounding my head against this wall. And if that wall would just break, then I could be free and I'm free. I broke through that wall and like... Everything started to fall into place. And I can't tell you how amazing it feels to be able to take control back of my life. I didn't realize how out of control my life was. And this goes for so many things in my life. It goes for so many, like, vices that I have been using, like alcohol. I've cut back on alcohol. And so taking back control of my life has been an incredible experience. And I'm just at the very beginning of it. Like, but breaking that wall was the catalyst for so many good things to finally come through to me. Um, that wall was holding back so much stuff. And I realize now that I'm in such a better place and I'm so much happier in just, you know, a couple months. So it's really awesome. All right, I pulled into work. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys for listening and allowing me to mess up my makeup this morning a little bit. 